hi guys and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by my name is queenette of queen's magic studio i'm a makeup artist based in abuja nigeria and i post youtube tutorials on makeup looks and lifestyle in general every thursdays and sundays unfortunately i wasn't able to post on sunday so that's why i'm posting today i post my videos 4 p.m on thursdays and sundays so please do well to subscribe so you can see more content from me and also click on the like button to help the video our products used will be listed down below in the description box i'll be using drugstore products for this beautiful dark skin client so i'll be starting with my setting spray and moisturizer it's very important to note that you should apply these products while the skin is still wet don't wait for your moisturizer to dry up before you go in with your serum the only time you want to wait for the skin to dry up is when you want to apply your primer so definitely moisturizing the lips she has dry lips but regardless you should always moisturize the lips so i just waited a little and added the primer so now i'm going to be using my super stay foundation together with my avor foundation it feels like i can't use any foundation without avor help me help me out actually because there's something about the avor foundation that just gets me i look at that skin you know why would i ever stop using that foundation so i'm blending the foundation down to her neck especially because her neck is a little darker than her face so i'll also go in with a nice soft cream blush i just love this color on a brown skin blend 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 and touch a little on the nose then we can go ahead and conceal just observe how i place my concealer keep it in mind it's the best this will give your client a very youthful appearance after the makeup and i'm just going to border up all that concealer with a foundation that is exactly her skin tone just to make the blending really easy for me now you can see me going in with like a nose contour and i'm just going to nicely blend up everything so if you thought for a minute that the foundation was a little too light for her skin if you've been observing and if you can go back and come back all over again you're going to observe that it oxidized slightly so what oxidation means when it comes to makeup is that it gets darker most foundations most drugstore foundations oxidize a little they tend to look at least one shade darker than the original shade so right now i'm going in with the second coat of my concealer this is very common when you're doing makeup with drugstore products it usually takes at least two applications of the concealer to give you full coverage and then to also brighten up that under eye so i'll be spraying everything down with my setting spray don't forget all products you use will be listed down in the description box i don't want to go ahead and send them all over again focusing now on the process so just tap that powder as usual after concealing properly and then we'll go in with the setting powder just to set all the areas that we highlighted so i really want to keep it natural today really smooth natural makeup for a dark skin person i'm not going to go all crazy with the highlighting don't forget wherever you put your foundation you want to at least place some powder on it that's why you see some powder going all the way to the neck and even the ears spray all over again you don't want to stop spraying until you're done with your makeup so i'm contouring the forehead and the cheek and i'm going to go ahead and contour the nose with a powder contour you always want to go back with the powder contour after using the cream contour the only reason you should leave that cream contour is when it's way too dark so you could just go ahead and blend it into the skin properly and powder it up so i'm just going to lay those brows i hope you've subscribed though 
I hope you've clicked on the like button too. Don't just ignore the subscribe and like button because I'm going to be dropping so many premium contents which I'm sure you're going to love. You will definitely learn something from each video I post. There's no video I post that doesn't have something new on it because they are all organic content. So go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of my organic content. I don't know if you've been doing makeup this way, starting with your lips, then going to your eyes. If you haven't, then I'll advise you try it out. It's really easy when you keep practicing. So I'm just starting with a transition color. I started with pink and then I added a little bit of brown on that pink. So I'm just like trying to lift up the eyes to make sure it doesn't go way up. And then I added some black. It's very important for you to keep your black at the outermost part if you are not going for a smoky eye. And it's nice to go in with black when you're working with a dark skin person. So I'm just going to add some beautiful nude color and a nice bronze shade. You could actually replace it with any shimmery shadow you have. So now I'm trying to make a wing, a really dramatic wing. You know these thick liners are trending as it is now. So I already told my client what we were going for and she agreed to try it out. And I was really excited because I haven't really tried this out on a client before. And she trusted me to do justice. Which I actually did. Look at that wing. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> wing it. So express yourself how you want to but keep it clean keep it symmetrical make sure one wing matches the other that's the only way you're going to really appreciate the thick liner and you just go in with your lashes like i'm really loving how she was already rocking it checking herself out and then i went ahead to do the brows last something i don't do every day but i find really convenient the only issue with doing the brows last is you might have to go back with a nice blending brush for your eyeshadow in case your concealer got to it never stop blending keep blending till you get your desired results so now i'm just doing little touch-ups here and there Dusting off the excess setting powder. And of course the bottom lash mascara. Very important. So at this point we just add some bronzer. Here and there. And I'll just go in with a finishing spray. Look at that skin. It's glowing. Heaven and goodness. I love everything about this look. Feel free to share your thoughts on looks you might want me to create and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you next time. Bye!